844-580-9326. 844-580-WDB. Let's hear about a Jim calling from Claremont. I can't wait to hear this. Go ahead. Okay. Um, it's a sea grave, and it's actually uh, the model is like a suburban, suburbanite. Okay. It's got six, a straight six cylinder engine that is a continental. Um, it, it was, um, I don't think it's got a lot of miles on it because I think somebody took the carburetor away and never returned it. Okay. And I got a carburetor for it, but my biggest concern is uh, the electronics. I think it has a magneto, it's uh, six volt. And I don't know any anything about electronics for vehicles. And also, I'm I'm okay with possibly changing it to 12 volt. Yeah, is that something you guys can do? Well, yeah, we would have to coordinate this, Jim. <laughs> but I could probably get it up and running for you. Uh, now, I would definitely be concerned in. I mean, I would definitely be all up for converting to 12 volt. Um, and as far as ignition goes, um, you know, I mean, you don't want to mess too awful much with the originality of it, but you know, depending on what type of a mag distributor system that they're using, I might be able to go with some type of a Pertronics, um, uh, electronic ignition that, you know, I, I can, I can redo a lot of distributors that are point systems or bag systems and I can put electronic, uh, you know, ignition systems in them, and you wouldn't even know it. Um, so with a Pertronic system, we could actually go and convert it to an electronic ignition and put an external coil on it, and that way it would make it, you know, it, it, it would work, you know, just have to figure out what firing order it's using and, and go from there with it. Uh, but that would be an interesting project. And, you know, hopefully you got a carburetor that, you know, will bolt on to the intake and, uh, get you some throttle linkage all made up to where it'd work, and you know maybe get the old, get the old get the old beast fired up, you know. But then you got other issues after we get it running. You know it, it's going to need master cylinder, and um, I, I don't know what type of wheel cylinder system they use on it. But you can automatically just figure all that stuff is junk. Um, so getting the brakes up and working on it, I would be more concerned than getting it running. I can make anything run. That, that's that's not a problem. But uh, the brake system might might represent a little bit of a challenge. Uh, but, you know, something like that, I mean, you know, something like that, I mean, you know, I just put it on the back lot, and be honest with you, I'd work on it when I had a chance to, you know, a uh, little at a time, because stuff like that, you get into something, and then you turn around, and you're going to need a part. And then the the game is on when you say that when when you need a part for a a 99 year old vehicle uh, it, it it can get interesting uh, sometimes reengineering comes into play and uh, that sort of thing but that's a beautiful truck absolutely beautiful I mean it's, I was telling them during the break uh, Jim that you know that's literally just artwork I mean those vehicles it's just it's just so nostalgic. And they're just beautiful to look at, um, you know. I, uh, I, I it, it's the same. It's the same size as a normal pickup truck, and I have not uh, not one speck of uh, Bondo on the whole truck. Wow! Is it is it being kept inside now? Yes. Okay. It's, so it's, it's not. Been, I bought it. I bought it uh, three years ago. I called you about it, but I never was able to do much because you know life <laughs> yeah i understand but, uh, i understand yeah i'll tell you what especially if, it, if it's the same size as a pickup truck and isn't going to take up a whole lot of space you know just make sure that you've got a cover for it you know because we won't be able to keep it inside um but make sure you got a cover for it and like i said I'll, I'll get it running one way or the other i guarantee you that and then uh, like i said though i think the brake system on it is going to be an interesting venture um, but but what a what a wonderful project you know what a neat project I've got a couple uh, uh, projects and I'm I'm just about ready to get rid of and get them back to their owners and as soon as I get those delivered then we'll talk about getting that old sea grave in there and see if we can't get that thing fired up and running for you. Thank you so much, Jim. That opens up a line for you with your 101 
your old police truck or something if you were trying to uh, one-up somebody here. 844-580-9326. What a, what a truck, Jim. I looked it up myself. It's a thing of beauty. 